do these three things to cross 2000 number one tactics 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 over 95 percent of games are decided by some stupid tactics so every day try to do at least 30 minutes of puzzles look at this position it's white to play can you find the tactical win currently the black rook and the pawn is attacking the queen you want to deliver the maid but that square is covered by the rook and you cannot go back because black has rook takes pawn simply winning the queen if you do not have enough practice you panic and you sacrifice the queen thinking it's a brilliancy you think after black takes you can go check and deliver the maid but suddenly the black king can simply run away and the checks are not there and the king runs out if you have enough practice you'll realize it's time to sacrifice the queen but not this way so this is the way you threaten a mate in one and this time when he takes the queen not only you sacrifice the queen you sacrifice the rook on h6 what's the difference the exit square is covered by his own rook and you have another rook ready to join the party you check him out he blocks and this time it's a mate this is the power of tactics number two this is the most boring part Part, but after you play every game you got to analyze it look for all the stupid things you did in life but how do you analyze it open any website lee chess chess.com potato chess anything works and keep an eye on this evaluation bar currently is 0.13 all good but whenever it changes that means you made a mistake aha look at this you push the pawn and the evaluation changed from 0 to 0.13 Four. What does that mean? You made an opening mistake. White played the Royal Lopez. You did not knew the theory. You just pushed the pawn. Maybe it's time for you to learn your openings. And now you get better. And don't stop here. Look for all the mistakes you committed. Look at this. You developed the bishop here. But the evaluation jumped to 0.5. Why is this wrong? The reason is after white takes it. Look at your structure. These pawns are so weak. All pawns are alone and can be chopped off. White took it and lucky for you. In this game, white blundered. All he had to do was develop the bishop, attack these pawns and slowly win. But he blundered and you got a mate in one. How did you get the mate in one? If you did not do your tactics, you would not see this mating pattern. But go back, plunder this pawn, plunder that pawn, plunder that pawn and cry. So analyze your games and get better every game. The third thing you should do is work on your openings. Have one good opening for white and one good opening for black. You might say openings are useless. Let me show you. This is a game between 2 2900 and the white guy is an I am and look at this he pushed the pawn black attacked it white chopped it off he attacked the pawn again on c5 white got greedy defended it black tried to attack it again and white was stupid enough to push this pawn trying to keep the extra pawn and what happened black just won the move in five moves a 2900 I am losing a full fatty rook in five moves this is the power of openings 